I don't want to talk about the pitfalls anymore. How about we stop? Okay, one more. It should be fun. Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. It's that time. Time for the last video of the year. She's already sold. Traditionally, we always do an end of year highlight video, which I mean, Sunday and then Monday, but it's a new year. And so it's, you know, societal and human tradition. We're going to celebrate it and we're going to do that. And we're going to tell you the things you can expect to see on this channel next year and the things you can expect to see on this channel next year, as well as all the highlights from this year and the downfalls. First thing, first highlight, Redline, sponsorship with Redline, our, our third and final sponsorship that we'll be working with on this channel for the foreseeable future that I could see. It's been really good so far and looking forward to working with them more. Um, you should check out Redline's uh, new thing they're doing with these bags and these patches and really big collaborative event happening and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. If you haven't seen what's going on with that, you should definitely check it out and uh, join to add your patch to that thing. <laughs> this year we had plenty of awesome ball python clutches there will definitely be more of those next year but we are being a little more sparing with our pairings this year for next year's season because of how kind of downturn the market has been we're just going to try and play a little more conservatively and that's just the plan but there will definitely be more ball pythons hatching here in 2024 reptile shows educational shows those happened this year Always fun, always fun to see those shows. You know, Arlington, Daytona, uh, the super shows, of course, that we'll see it next week. And ooh, speaking of next week's super show, there is a gentleman that reached out to me. Christian Lopez of VC Exotics wants to give away a lily white crested gecko to a kid who doesn't have one yet. Preferably a kid who already has crested geckos and knows their care. So if you're that person, you need to come find me at the super show next weekend so that you can be that kid that gets that free lily white crested gecko and i'll kind of pick your brain and make sure you know what you're talking about and make sure that you are able to care for this animal and first kid to come up to me with that information you're getting a free crested gecko from vc exotics so hit me up i don't know if it's a downfall or a highlight of 2023 but triple b tv came to an end there was a lot of things i, I kind of shut down on and pulled back because i needed to put my energy into other things and triple b tv my very first youtube channel was one of those things i pulled back on and you can expect to not see a return of triple b tv in 2024 however if you are missing me doing interviews with other people in the hobby industry that is not necessarily coming to an end i want to talk to you guys more about that but first we're going to touch on more on the highlights and the pitfalls of this year something that i didn't really do much of in 2023, which I would consider a highlight, is spending much time on Facebook. And you can probably count on me not doing that as well. I actually scrolled through Facebook a little bit um, just the other day and was like, yeah, no, maybe a little bit on Instagram, but I'm really trying to balance the amount of time I spend working and doing social media stuff with, um, you know, making sure I'm having intentional time with my family as their young kids are growing and not wanting to miss out on those moments that are going to be passing by like a blip. And, you know, before I even go any further in this video, just getting this thing edited and I always forget stuff. I always forget stuff every time. Like there's a hundred thousand people, not a hundred thousand, 
a lot of people I'd like to thank that I that I didn't thank in the video. Also, 2024, like herping trips with Dave Kaufman, um, more searchables reptiles uh, podcast. There's another one I still haven't even released that's gonna come out. So, yeah just a couple things that I forgot that I really wanted to make sure in here. I really just want to take a moment to thank all of you who've been supporting this channel from the beginning. Those of you who are supporting this channel newly, um, it's just really been a blessing and I'm super grateful for all of you guys out there that have been doing that. It's been a wild ride. I couldn't have imagined or I guess I hoped, you know, when I started first making a, a channel back eight years ago that it might lead to something cool and this led to something more than cool which is me being able to do what i love and support a family while doing it so i, I really appreciate you guys and all your support i i couldn't do it without you if you guys weren't loving these videos and watching this channel then that wouldn't be a thing so i really do appreciate it i want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart i started making loud noises some of my personal highlights from this year were the music videos that we still did. We did a few. We did uh, Fiat Looks. Um, loud Noises was a personal favorite of mine. Snake Room also did pretty well. We didn't do as many music videos as I would like to, but I'm planning to do more in 2024. In fact, I've got one in the back of my brain dancing around right now called Dance, and it should be pretty fun. Another highlight was Texas being at the Arlington show, getting to go and see my buddy Earl Jones and check out some of his venomous animals over there and learn some safety handling tips from him, as well as my first time going to Bill Stiegel's barbecue and getting to handle some green tree pythons and hang out with all the cool people over there. Sounds like I've got an open invite anytime I'm in Texas to come back to that. So Bill, thank you for that. And I'm looking forward to come back next year. You know, another, another highlight, and then we're going to hit some pitfalls. One of the big highlights for me was last year. Was that last year? No, it was this year. <laughs> we're doing this year still, right? It's still 2023, right? We had snow here in our town, which is very rare. Not just like a little bit of dusting. I mean, there was some snow on the rooftops in town, but like 20 minutes from the house, we had full on like making snowmen, sledding down hills, snowball fights. Like, and it looks like maybe that might happen again next year as well. So I, that's amazing if it did. But I also told my kids that they probably wouldn't see what we saw this past year as far as snow goes until they had kids of their own. So. That would be incredible if we saw that again here. Hey, global warming, love it. All right, let's get into what was what were probably the biggest pitfalls. And there's some crazy highlights still coming, like major highlights, but the, the biggest pitfall probably, not just for me, but for a lot of the reptile world was Brian Barczyk um, being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. That was, that is still a gut punch that a lot of us are reeling from. And Brian's in our prayers and lots of people's prayers um, daily and we're, we're pulling for him, but it's it's been a rough one to watch, and I can only imagine, you know, in his shoes, but he's a strong dude, and I'm grateful for how strong he is, because he, he's um, he's powering through like a champion. I, I don't know anybody, I probably would have rolled over and died already, honestly. He's such a, uh, he's such a fighter, and uh, we're just praying for more Brian Barczyk in 2024. Brian is the number one inspiration behind my YouTube channel and uh, yeah, the, just what a, what a, what a pitfall. That's, that's the biggest one for 2023. I couldn't, I couldn't think of a worse moment of 2023. Um, but we're, we're, we're praying for the best for Brian and again, hoping to see him next year at Animal Con, which was definitely a highlight this year. You know, it was, it was bittersweet, but it was mostly sweet. Mostly sweet. It was such a good time hanging out there and the positive energy surrounding that whole event and all of the different animal industry hobby, like just, just the folks. It was it was such a good thing. If you weren't there this year, I highly recommend going to it in 2024 because the energy was just, it was great. It was fantastic. I need to counteract the biggest pitfall of 2023 with the highest highlight of 2023, which is the birth of my son, Makai Alexander, whose name I've never actually said on this channel because I don't ever use any of my kids' real names. Why would I do that? Gosh, what a little dude, man. I mean, obviously it adds to my wife and I having a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of energy output. We're getting older. I'm not a young spring chicken at this point, but uh, man, that kid, that kid just smiles so much. What a highlight. Stoked to be able to share uh, his birth with you guys and 
and just for that memory to be captured forever in a video. It's so cool, that's why I do this. And, um, speaking of that, actually, I'd like to put it out to you guys in the comments below. I know this has been a battle for me for a long time. Like, what content am I gonna put out versus like, what content am I not gonna put out? Like the stuff that really matters to me, but also matters to you guys, it's diverse because it's, it's just my life. But I'd love to know in the comments below, like if you could only pick one of two types of content from this channel, which is one, reptile specific only content, two, uh, not reptile specific content. Or do you prefer a blend? All right, third option. We gotta have three options, power of three. A couple of more pitfalls. I, I don't like to dwell on the negative stuff. It's really not my MO, but just for the sake of having some pitfalls because there were many. Um, the situation with, with Samson, I didn't even want, man, I, didn't even, I really didn't want to bring that up. But that was bad, that was a bad one. I felt like I was a really big smear on the entire hobby and it just turned people ugly, not just in that specific situation, but like seemed to fester outward and into lots of other relationships and it was just, it was just nasty. It made me um, almost not want to be part of this hobby at all anymore, which I'll never not be part of it, but it's just, you know, it doesn't, doesn't feel good to feel like that anyway. I don't want to talk about the pitfalls anymore. How about we stop? Okay, one more. FWC. That was, that was a bad one. That was also right up there with the top pitfalls of 2023. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Uh, 2023 also saw the end of Whiskey Wimps, my channel that we were doing whiskey reviews on, and uh, as much as I'd love to bring it back, there just wasn't really the time, based on all the other things I've been taking on with the baby being born and um, you know leading youth worship on Tuesday and Wednesday nights, which I'm still not sure how long all of that will be sustainable for because it's just, there's a lot, there's a lot happening, which led to my, one of my other downfall videos, which was, you know, that I was struggling. And it's just, it's really just comes down to a scheduling thing and a time thing and how much time I actually have versus how much output I'm trying to do. And it just drives me into a little bit of a mental deficit of where I, I can't really wrap my mind around all the things. In fact, you should look at my garage right now, it's a disaster, I'm trying to get Leia's room, my old office made into that and getting all that stuff moved around. It's just, there's just so many things happening and I, I'm really like kind of a clean person. I like things clean. And when my surroundings are a mess, which is an inevitable thing when you're so busy and have so many kids, it's tough, but I'll be okay. <laughs> ah, another highlight, uh, the grand opening at Clint's Reptile Room, which was another music video, Snake. That was a good one. I was stoked for that little collaboration that with Clint, do that Johnny Cash style. Uh, snake video that was that was really fun I know it was a Nine Inch Nails song originally and I trust me people I am one of the biggest like music nerds out there as far as who actually wrote the song who's performing you know everybody thinks all along the watchtowers Jimi Hendrix song a lot of us know that's not the truth a lot of us think that uh, stuck in the middle with you is a Bob Dylan song which is not even close to the truth point being I get it I, I, I know but Johnny Cash made the song more famous and even Trenton Reznor said that Johnny Cash did it better than him so come on Johnny does that with a lot of people's songs so definitely look forward to more videos as I mentioned before uh, music videos in 2024 you know I'll try and squeeze in a few and hope that there'll be some real hitters maybe not hitters like pee on a tree because pee on a tree <laughs> really took off but you know we, we can always hope for another pee on a tree another highlight uh, morph market as much as that was kind of a a dumpster fire at times it seemed just if you I guess if you looked at like you know specifically that you didn't like Darian's memes I guess that was really where the dumpster fire stuff came in I think I'm as far as like the company goes with Morph Market which super stoked to have them as a sponsor that's part of the announcement I'm bringing up too is not only like all the cool things that are coming out I, I can't wait to see all the things I, I know some of the stuff that's gonna be released next year and I'm stoked I mean for you guys obviously too, but just for myself, for like the things I'm gonna be able to do with Morph Market. I can't wait for these things to come out, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Also, there is a Morph Market YouTube channel. There hasn't been a video uploaded there for a little bit, but I am going to start doing interviews with hobbyists, breeders, reptile keepers, anybody who interacts with Morph Market in any way. We're gonna have the Morph Market YouTube channel going, doing that, basically what Triple B TV was doing. But instead of just people I pick, like I'm gonna leave it up to other people to pick who are the people you want to hear from that you haven't heard from or that you'd like to hear more from and get their takes on the hobby and the industry. 
that's something that I've been missing doing. And the Morph Market channel is going to be the place that we're doing that in 2024. So if you're not subscribed to that channel already, go subscribe and you can look forward to content coming out there beginning in 2024. As for other highlights that I can expect to share with you guys coming next year, Snake Discovery, the final build off, the finals, the championship. They've had three build offs and they're taking the top three, the winners from the last three and having a finals build off. I was one of the top three winners the first year. And so I will be going to the final build off hopefully to place somewhere. I'm not expecting to do super well. I'm not like a super good uh, master enclosure creator or anything like that, but I, I do have a pretty good idea in my sleeve. Once I knew that I was going to be going to the finals, I, I have a pretty solid idea. I don't know how I'm going to pull it off. It's actually going to be pretty difficult, it's, given that we can't just bring our own supplies. I don't know how I'm going to make this work, but it should be fun. More awesome content coming from this guy to you, viewers watching here on YouTube. Again, I appreciate so much. Thank you guys for supporting this channel all the years. And um, I hope you're all having a wonderful New Year celebration this evening or whatever you're doing. Just be safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Aloha. Will it ever get old for me? Will I ever think it's just dumb at any point to just upload a video called my last video, knowing it's not my last video, just because it's the last video of the year? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that every year, at the end of every year, you can expect a video called The Last Video. Because it is. It's the last video of the year. I don't know what else to call it.